Hi, Elvis X here, and welcome back to something that's a little different. So, a couple of months ago, or about a month and a half ago, we did a video breaking down the Yu Haka Show 30th Anniversary Blu ray set, and even though it's just us talking about it, a decent amount of you seem to like that. So, figured we might make it a regular thing. And since we're in the middle of March, and we do Mignana March around here, figured I'd do a couple based around series Vic has been in. Um, so for this one, we're doing a series we've already covered here before in Dubstep. I've already broke down this English dub and reviewed the series, Dean Angel. And telling you which is the best version to own, because there are a stupid amount of releases for this one. Okay, it's only like three, but for a series like this, I still think that's a decent amount. Like, why? Well, anyway... DNA Angel, um, its first release was back in 04, if my research is correct, probably off on that. And ADV did the single volume sets. There were seven in total, and each volume came with an audio commentary. I'll go over who's on each one in a minute, because I know some of you actually do like that aspect as well, to let you know if, you know, there are people you're interested in hearing about, as well as interviews and stuff like that with the Japanese uh, staff behind the show. Um... So, yeah. ADV would then release in 07, 08 or so a complete five disc set that doesn't include anything. Yeah. This is one thing about ADV that I thought was really scummy upon researching them heavily. Apparently, back in the day, when fans were complaining about anime prices being too expensive, which they were, anyone who was around those days knows, $30 for three episodes, man, just saying, that's kind of fucked. Um, ADV would come out with a cheaper option, so for DN Angel, it would be $90 for five discs, but in exchange, um, there'd be none of the extras. You'd get all 26 episodes, but none of the extras. Um, none of the commentaries, none of the interviews with the Jap staff, nothing. None of the inserts. Yeah, I should mention the single volumes come with inserts, too. Um, and it's it's really fucked. I, I don't agree with that mindset, personally. I think that's messed up and wrong. And some people back in the day were like, well, you know, at least you have choice from when I was looking up researching on old blogs and stuff. And it's like... No, that's not how you do this. It's taking advantage of your fan base. Yeah, I know, a company taking advantage of their fans. Like, preach it to the choir. But um, DN Angel is just one release that did this. A bunch of them did this. So, yeah, the single volumes, if you want all the extra stuff, are the way to go there. But first, there's one other release, and that would be the Discotech release, which was 2011-2012. It's literally just copy-pasted the five-disc ADV set. That's it. The video quality wasn't improved. They were literally just ripped straight from the ADV set. No extras. Nothing. Thanks, Discotech. Not to mention it's out of print, too. Yeah, I should mention this anime is well out of print, so if you want to own it, well, you know. They're actually still easily affordable on eBay. Even the seven-disc set you could probably find out there for a decent price. Um... Speaking of which, let's get into that real quick. So, DN Angel Volume 1 has a commentary with Vic Mignogna and Kevin Korn. That would be Dark and Daisuke's voice actors, respectively, our two mains. And I didn't listen to all these, just skim them a bit, but... Yeah, you, you can tell they're just having a laugh, having fun watching the show. Volume 2 is Lucy Christian and Hilary Haig. That would be um, Risa and Riku's voice actors, respectively. And, again, they make some hilarious jokes, in my opinion. Hillary saying that her character... <laughs> she's like, yeah, she's a dyke. Or should I say tomboy? Because I, I don't think that first word's very PC. I, I cracked up at that. But, you know, this is when the Japanese staff interview starts showing up as well as on Volume 2 through 7. Volume 3 is Andy McCavin and Kelly Manison. Those are Dice Scare protagonist's parents. And... Yeah, I'm just going to quickly breeze through these. Volume 4 is Jessica Boone and Monica Royale, Toa and Mio's voice actors, respectively. And, yeah, you all know my thoughts of Monica. We're this month, guys, come on, but, you know. Volume 5 is David Williams, the director and uh, producer of the dub, and Mariella Ortiz, who's with the mascot. 
and DVD coordinator. What the hell is DVD coordinator? Someone explain that to me. Is that just the person who does like the menus and the extras? I, I, don't, I don't know. Volume 6 is Sasha Pacinger, who's Free Dirt, John Swayze, who's Daisuke's grandfather, Christine Aten, who's the second hand of time, and Kira Vincent Davis, who's Sehara. Yeah, they even call this the minor character commentary as a meme. And I'm betting this one because there's four people probably might devolve into madness at some point, which I've grown to appreciate that. I don't know. I mean, hey, a lot of them talk about how they have to have day jobs on top of voice acting because, you know, it's almost like voice acting primarily pays you an exposure. I don't know. <laughs> Let me know if you all agree with me on that. Again, I, I still have the mindset that off topic for a sec. Voice acting is meant to pay you an exposure, and then you go to the con circuit, and that's where the real money is. But you all might disagree with me on that. That's cool. That's up to you. Anyway, last commentary, Volume 7, is uh, Greg Aris as Satoshi and Illich Guardiola. Illich Guardiola as Crad. And, yeah. Again, if you're interested in that sort of thing, some people are, then they're there for you. You'd want to pick up the seven-disc set. Or, like I said, there's bundles on eBay of all seven discs, so you don't have to buy them separately. I saw several before doing this vid. Um, and there is no difference in video quality from what I looked up online and what saw what people were saying about it between this set, the five discs ADV set, and the five disc discotech set. No Blu-ray for this exists, to my knowledge, um, from everything I've researched, but yeah. Um, <clears throat> and I guess that's really it for Dean Angel. Again, a bit of a quick video, but let me know if you guys like this sort of thing, and we'll be back. There's other stuff with um, that I'd really like to do release comparisons of, or at least break down releases for other limited editions and stuff to let you know if they're worth it. Do I think the 7-disc Dean Angel set is worth it? If you could find it for an okay price, sure. Um, I know my opinion on Dean Angel has definitely changed over the years. I used to really like this anime, but revisiting it for Dubster Dive um, has definitely showed me that the anime has a lot of problems. I still have fun with it, sure, but yeah, your mileage on the anime might vary. So... And having these interviews and commentaries and stuff is something I'm a fan of, because I like hearing the voice actor's perspective on voicing in the show, which you do get that in here. Um, and they explain their stories on being in the show and their thoughts on it. So that's, again, up to you. Your mileage might vary on that. If you just want to own the show, the five disc sets are out there. Although I've seen them, some of them run for the same price as the seven disc sets, which is just insane to me. I will be honest and say the five disc sets also have a nice box that they all fit inside of to look better on the shelf. So if you're also into that sort of thing, again, that's that's something to take note of. The seven disc sets don't seem to have a collector's box from what I've looked up. But anyway, guess that's it. Let me know your thoughts on DNA Angel, which version you own or you'd like to own. And maybe you agree with me that the seven disc one is the best. Or maybe you prefer the way it looks on your shelf in, like, the five-disc box set from ADV instead. Who knows? So, that's it. Thanks again so much for watching, guys. And I hope you all enjoy this one. I haven't named this series yet, but I'm going to work that out at some point, I imagine, if I want to do more of these. But thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you have yourselves a fantastic day. And, yeah. Let me throw something to an angel and all that stuff. So hope you have yourselves a great day. And if you like this, please like it. All that. Really appreciate it, guys. <laughs> Anyways, until next time, everyone. Have a good day.